Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Lucy and James about the villains of Valley View coming to Disney Channel June third. Thank you both for your time. Thank you, PD. Appreciate it. A little bit of a tongue twister, that title. A lot of V's. Right. <laughs> yeah. Pop alternative PD Beats is also kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> game set of match, James. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, James, this is really cool. I mean, you know, with the landscape of superhero culture, geek culture, combo culture, it's so big right now. So what's it like to kind of be on a show um, where the landscape is so massive right now, where it's both supervillains and everything? Well, I think that we're sort of, self, at the moment, we're lucky that we're, we're self-contained. The villains of Valley View, we're, we're really entertaining one, one another. The cast is very connected and, and we've created a situation where we're actually, we've made something that we'd love to watch ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so that's kind of all you can do, right? You can't, yeah. you can't sit out there, go out there in the landscape and say, this is what's where we're going to compete from. What we're competing from is that we've created something that has a lot of heart yeah. and, and the special effects and the costumes and the jokes are all frankly, for my money, world-class. So it's going to stand on its own and people are going to, they're going to salute or they're not, but we're really proud of what we've made. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. That's so, that's so true. Lucy, is it safe to say kind of adding to what Jabe just said about the costumes and the worlds and everything and the effects? I mean, is that your favorite thing about being a storyteller? You could dive into these worlds. So the villains of Valley View, Chilling Adventures, is that one of your favorite things about transforming into these worlds like this? Yeah, I think, I think one of my favorite things about doing my job is all the costumes, everything that come together help in that last moment of whatever it is you do. I, on top, my favorite thing is to do the dialogue. My favorite mm-hmm. thing is to say words that I wouldn't say in my real life, be someone that I wouldn't be in my real life, um, whether it's because I want to make someone laugh or make someone cry or, or offend or whatever that is, I enjoy taking on those challenges and, and that role. After all yeah. this time doing this job, that's the bit I love. Once I leave set and everything else, I, I'm okay without any, any other. I don't really watch myself anymore. Um, and I just like the bit on set where we do that. Oh, absolutely. James, you know, I really like this show because it has a lot at play where, you know, family of super villains. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it has a lot of big scale things that happen in the show, the effects and everything, the amazing costumes. But at the end of the day, it's a family sitcom. So mm-hmm. are you, is that just kind of, where we're at right now, we're just like the family sitcom is just becoming more complex. Like, what do you think about all of that? I, I haven't the, the, the family sitcom, uh, it, you know, for me, having watched it over the last 20 years, because I was doing sitcom, sitcoms back in the 90s and watching what the family sitcom was for a while there on Nickelodeon and Disney. Um, the th- interesting thing about Brian Moore and Chris Peterson, who are the head writers and the show creators, these are guys with really savvy personalities who really yeah. know how to tell a story, who understand the structure of a joke, who push the envelope uh, with Disney. And uh, what I think sets that us apart is really them, because they won't stop pushing that edge. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, our show, our family has a heart. The, the, the TV family has a heart. We care about each other on and off screen. Mm-hmm. Um, but Brian Moore and Chris uh, Peterson really do uh, push the storytelling to a whole other level. And really, I just challenge people to take a look, watch one episode and you're going to get it. There's something very special is happening on that stage. Lucy, before we wrap up quickly, when they get to watch the show, takeaway wise, what do you hope they get out of it, basically, when they watch the show specifically? Um, there's there's two things. One is I love the comedy and I, yep. I just what James said, it's, it's edgier. Um, but secondly, here are this family of villains, not heroes, not people who save people every day and try to do the right thing every day. And, blah, 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 and where we live in a world right now where everyone's telling you what the right thing is and that you should be doing it. Yep. These people are not. And they're embracing who they are, whatever else. Screw everything else. This is us. And I oh. love that message. Personally. Absolutely. No, that's really well said. Lucy, James, thank you so much for your time. It's going to be premiering on Disney Channel June 3rd. It was great chatting with you both. Thank you thank so much you. for your time. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.